Kamora Lee is finally coming for Russell Simmons and exposing him for mistreating the family and lying about his finances. Um, but he was saying to the guy, like, I'm so rich, I got this and I got that and I'm this and that. None of that could be further from the truth. You know, he has turned around and then again, I have records and evidence of this where he's told the kids in writing, we have it, text messages. I'm broke, I this, I that, I can't, you know, go get it from your mom. Meanwhile, Kamora and Russell's daughter Aoki confirmed that Russell has been acting like a monster for years and Aoki even pulled out the receipt showing how Russell verbally abused her before she cut him off. He has called me names, he has called us all house of bitch all you he has called us terrible things. All because I wouldn't take his side in a lawsuit. Fans are now saying that authorities need to investigate Russell for not just what he did to his family, but also for the numerous other crimes that he allegedly committed. More context, other than this recent allegation from his ex-wife and his daughters about abuse and harassment that they have faced from him, he has also been accused of essaying and harassing multiple women within the music industry. The whole situation is more messy than you can imagine, so let's break it down. Now, meanwhile, I have been financially carrying this person probably for the last at least 10 years myself and my ex-husband again this is all proven with receipts so if whatever somebody doesn't like what i'm saying you know we can talk about it we can come we can open up our receipts I, I love it i love receipts the allegations against russell simmons keep stacking up and it's really insane how this man managed to gaslight the whole world into believing that he's a top boss when his ex-wife kamora has been financially supporting him for years to give you some context russell's problematic behavior can be traced back decades and the first major red flag is the age difference between him and kamora they first met in 1992 at new york fashion week when russell was 35 and kamora was just 17 and still a sophomore in high school of course russell Russell later claimed that they didn't start dating until Kimura was 18, but who really knows? This man has been exposed for lying so many times that we really can't take his word for anything. Besides that, a 36-year-old man dating an 18-year-old girl may be legal, but it's problematic and disgusting. Anyways, after several years of dating, Kimura and Russell tied the knot in December 1998. Now, over the course of their marriage, they welcomed their two daughters, Ming Lee in 2000 and Aoki Lee in 2002. However, Kimura and Russell's marriage wasn't built to last, and in 2006, they announced that they were going their separate ways. Now, initially, the former spouses seemed to be on good terms, and Russell said in a statement at the time, Kimura and I will remain committed parents and caring friends with great love and admiration for each other. However, as soon as Kamara moved on in her love life, Russell's behavior changed, and he reportedly started harassing her and their daughters. In February 2014, Kimura married banker Tim Leisner, and Russell couldn't stand it, so he tried to take revenge on Kimura by filing a lawsuit against her and Tim, alleging they stole stocks he had in the energy drink company Celsius. However, Kimura was able to prove Russell's allegations were false, and the LA Superior Court dismissed Russell's lawsuit and ordered him to pay over $100,000 in attorney fees to Kimura. And according to Kimura, this enraged Russell and he became even more vindictive and vicious towards her and their daughters. And now Kimura and the girls have had enough, and they're exposing all of Russell's evil doings, from his abuse to the way he lost his money. The recent drama started on Father's Day when Ming shared a throwback photo of her and Kimura and wrote Happy Father's Day. Shortly after, Russell shared a cryptic message on his stories, seemingly accusing Kimura of turning Ming and Aoki against him. The message on the photo read, stop telling fathers they should have fought harder to see their children and start asking mothers why he had to fight at all. Kimura was furious when she saw this because as she later explained on an Instagram live, she and the girls have been putting up with Russell's a for years, and she's been supporting Russell financially the whole time. According to Kamora, Russell didn't even attend Ming and Aoki's recent graduation ceremonies, and yet he kept posting photos of the girls on his Instagram and acting like he was involved in their lives. Kamora also hinted at the alleged grooming she suffered and broke down while talking about how hard she tried to make things work with Russell for the sake of their kids. I was a very young, um, probably too young, a uh, bride. So I had these kids very early and you guys know how much my family means to me and you know how much my kids mean to me and you guys know, all of you that know me absolutely know what kind of um, mother I am and what kind of family dynamic I have over here. Um, I think it's very important for you all to know um, if you look back in our history 
I have always been the type of co-parent. You know, we were actually very famous for our co-parenting abilities and, you know, how we always put the good face forward and the good foot forward to the world. So you guys know that. As Kamora explained, Russell's behavior changed when he started losing money. And then the court dismissed his lawsuit against her and Russell completely lost it. This ex in question uh, brought a lawsuit against me and my, and my family. Um, a completely frivolous lawsuit um, where he accused me of all kinds of crazy stuff like um, crazy stuff like embezzling, you know, laundering, defrauding, all these things. Again, everybody that knows me knows that nothing could be like further from the truth. But Kamara also hinted at another very important thing, the disturbing reason why Russell fled from the US to Bali. Clearly I'm sitting right here in my home, right? There's no, you know, none of that. I didn't flee the country. I don't run. I don't have to hide from anybody. I didn't commit any uh, atrocities that I need to answer for, you know, here or in the next life at the gates wherever I'm gonna get, I don't have to do that, like some other people. Russell's move to Bali coincided with allegations brought against him by multiple women who accused him of SA. The youngest alleged victim was just 17 years old at the time of the incident, and in total, 13 different women accused Russell of various disgusting crimes. When these allegations appeared in the media, Russell stepped down from his roles in Def Jam Records and other companies he managed. And in 2020, a documentary about the allegations against Russell called On the Record premiered at the Sundance Film Festival. I didn't tell that many people about what happened with Russell. He just grabbed me. He just grabbed me. And I'm saying no. I was reduced to nothing in that moment. But before the documentary aired, Russell left the U.S. and moved to the Indonesian island of Bali. And despite claiming he moved there to pursue his yoga lifestyle, it's more likely that he picked Indonesia because this country doesn't have an extradition agreement with the U.S. Anyways, Russell started spiraling when his evil deeds were exposed to the world and he took out his anger on Kimura and their daughters. According to Kimura, the girls cut off Russell because he kept harassing them, and yet Russell kept lying to the world about their relationship. You'll see on their page that they post all these pictures like like we're together, like we're friends. They've even posted pictures and then said like, I just got off the phone with my kids. They sent me this great picture. None of that's true. I like receipts, so of course I have text messages. I have messages from all my kids. You know, you can go and see. But that's not the only thing that he lied about. Kamara also shared that Russell punished Ming and Aoki by cutting them off financially, even though he was only contributing a few hundred dollars a month. Bottom line, like probably the breaking point for all of this was uh, over the past, many months um, when their dad just sort of cut them off. Um, he was contributing a little bit of cash to their like monthly, you know, college spending, not much, a couple hundred dollars, probably maybe $500 maybe a little more. Again, all these things can be, you know, proven with receipts. I, I love receipts, so folks can always go and get receipts and show over the years. Um, um, and so one day he just kind of cut the kids off. There was no more money coming in, no more like allowance, quote unquote allowance. I think he probably did that just to double up the expenses on me, which is no problem. I stepped up, I did it. According to Kamora, Russell lied about his financial situation for years and he convinced the world to look at her as a gold digger when in fact she's been the main breadwinner and she even continues supporting his lifestyle after the separation. Uh, but he was saying to the guy, like, I'm so rich, I got this and I got that, and I'm this and that. None of that could be further from the truth. You know, he has turned around, and then again, I have records and evidence of this where he's told the kids, in writing, we have it, text messages, I'm broke, I this, I that, I can't, you know, go get it from your mom. Now, meanwhile, I have been financially carrying this person probably for the last at least 10 years, myself and my ex-husband. Again, this is all proven with receipts, so whatever, somebody doesn't like what I'm saying, you know, we can talk about it, we can come, we can open up our receipts. I, I love it, I love receipts. Um, but I've taken care of this person to the tune of many, many, many millions of dollars to help with their bills, their overhead, their companies that they run into the ground, their unsuccessful bids, all of their stuff. Kamora shared that Russell even tried to shame Ming and Aoki for going to college and accused them of wasting money, and all of this left the girls completely traumatized. 
He's even said things to them like, why did you go to college? You shouldn't have gone to college. You wasted that money. You could have saved it while I'm up here trying to hustle the kids over the finish line. But I think it comes a time when you guys have to ask yourself, why are these women, young women, um, not supportive or not really trying to hear that? Or what have they gone through? What have they seen that they, you know, that has turned them off or that has put a, a bad taste in their mouth. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, Kimora later revealed in a series of stories that Russell even threatened her children's lives. Leave my kids alone, Kimora wrote. This narrative of attacking the only caregiver, the only parent in the home with the kids, the mom, and the kids for one's own shortcomings and embarrassments is dead, dead, dead. Kimora and Russell's daughter Aoki later confirmed that everything that her mom said was true, and she shared a muted recording of her FaceTime call with Russell looking crazy while screaming at her. Aoki also later went live to talk about how Russell terrorized the family for years, and she said he even called her and her sister disgusting names when they refused to take sides in his lawsuit against Kimura. Aoki revealed that she's been begging Russell to stop posting her and her sister on social media because she was scared the drama would affect her career, but he ignored all her requests. Aoki also later shared a text exchange with Russell showing how Russell told her that her mom is a piece of and complained about being literally broke. Now, as for fans, they are completely horrified, but not surprised by these allegations against Russell. Are people seriously surprised by Russell Simmons' behavior, one fan said? Underneath all that love and light BS always hides the darkest, cruelest, and most vindictive people. The gaslighting, the spiritual bypassing, it's very effed up. And another fan wrote, I'm not surprised by Russell Simmons. He's always giving me creepy grandpa vibes. That spirituality shit he pushes was not fooling me. It be them ones. But what are your thoughts about Kimura and Naoki exposing Russell. Were you surprised by all these new allegations against him? Let us know in the comments and don't miss out on this next story.